Reconcile involves a settlement of disputes or differences between two or more individuals or groups. It is often facilitated by a third party. An agreement is reached that satisfies all persons involved in the dispute, thereby restoring a sense of cooperation and harmony. In the marriage relationship among saints, when there is a dispute that results in a separation, they are not to marry another. Rather, they are to stay unmarried or be reconciled to each other. 1 Corinthians chapter 7, verse 11. But even if she does depart, let her remain unmarried or be reconciled to her husband, and a husband is not to divorce his wife. However, if an unbelieving spouse abandons the marriage, the believer is free to remarry another believer. 1 Corinthians chapter 7 and verse 15. But if the unbeliever departs, let him depart. A brother or a sister is not under bondage in such cases, but God has called us to peace. God demonstrated his love towards us in that while we were sinners, Christ died for us. Romans chapter 5 and verse 8. But thee God caused his love to stand unto us, because while we were yet existing as sinners, Christ died on our behalf. Through the death of Christ, the righteousness of God was satisfied, permitting reconciliation. Romans chapter 5 and verse 9. Therefore, much more, now having been justified by his blood, we are saved through him from the wrath. Therefore, since when we were enemies, he made reconciliation for us through his blood, how much more through his life will we be saved? Romans chapter 5 and verse 10. For since existing as enemies, we were reconciled to God through the death of his Son. How much more, having been reconciled, will we be saved by his life? He was raised three days later, proving that his sacrifice was acceptable to God, and therefore we are justified through him. Romans chapter 4 and verse 25. Who was delivered over because of our trespasses, and was raised because of our justification. It is necessary that Christ died for our sins because without the shedding of blood there is no forgiveness of sins. Hebrews chapter 9 verse 22. And nearly all by blood is cleansed according to the law and apart from the shedding of blood there is no sending away. Forgiveness. Without the shedding of blood a settlement cannot be garnished that would satisfy all parties. In this dispensation, those who are saved are given the ministry of reconciliation. 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 18. Now all things are out from God, the one who reconciled us to himself through Christ and gave to us the ministry of reconciliation. God was in Christ reconciling the world, not imputing their trespasses, and has given to us the word of reconciliation. 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 19. As that God was in Christ reconciling the world to himself, not counting their trespasses to them, and setting in us the word of reconciliation. We supplicate on behalf of Christ to those who do not believe to be reconciled to God. 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 20. Therefore, on behalf of Christ, we are ambassadors. As the God calls alongside through us, we supplicate on behalf of Christ. You all be reconciled to God. Adam's sin brought death unto all humans. Romans chapter 5 and verse 12. Because of this, just as through one man the sin entered the world, and through the sin the death. And thus unto all men the death passed, on the basis that all sinned. God instructed Adam not to eat from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil informing him that on the day in which he eats, dying he would die. Before he sinned, Adam trespassed by determining to break God's law, even though Satan had not deceived him, although he was able to fully deceive Eve, 1 Timothy chapter 2 and verse 14. And Adam was not deceived, but the woman, having been thoroughly deceived, came to be in transgression. Therefore, through his trespass, he became dead to God in his spirit, and through his sin, the penalty of physical death was applied. 
Although Adam did not immediately drop dead, his act of disobedience guaranteed his physical death. Since Adam is the head of the creation of humans, he passed down these deaths and condemnation to all. Romans chapter 5 verses 12 through 14. Because of this, just as through one man the sin entered the world, and through the sin the death. And thus unto all men the death passed, on the basis that all sinned. For until law, sin was in the world, but was not imputed since there was no law. But the death reigned from Adam to Moses, and upon all the ones who did not sin upon the likeness of the transgression of Adam, who is a type of the one about to come. Therefore it is appointed to man to die. Hebrews chapter 9 and verse 27. As much as according it is reserved to men once to die, and after this, judgment. The blood of Christ satisfies the requirements of God's righteousness concerning Adam's trespass and sin, thereby freeing those who believe in Christ's death for sin and resurrection on the third day from the wrath of God. Romans chapter 5 and verse 9. Therefore, much more, having been justified by his blood, we are saved through him from the wrath.